I believe the correct one here is going to be this one. The P15 underneath the UV18H. Let's go see. Alright. It shouldn't take too long. When you get this window message here, go in here, click run anyway. Apparently they would show up as having a virus. Something like a, I don't know. Okay. Let's close this. Minimize that. Close this. And what it does is it doesn't create a desktop icon for some reason. Or if it does, I'm not seeing it. But it'll be in here. And if this is the right one, then it should work. If it's not, then it won't work. Then we know we've downloaded the wrong one. But it is the right one. So if you've bought one of these UV... 17 hours off of Amazon. This is going to be the software that you need. You're not going to get support from Terp. You're not going to get support from RT Systems. Don't expect it. Okay? It's not going to happen. The guy at RT Systems doesn't want to do anything. He, oh, it's too hard because um, the guy's so used to writing all the typical software, so he just says it's too difficult. So, and you can't really blame him because you're coming out with so many different radios all the time. So, this is the scan of my radio, and like I was showing you guys earlier, um, pretty simple. So, um, when I get the video finished, I'll put a link up onto the uh, website here. If you want the Bofang UV18H non-GPS file off of Mickler, and you'll be good to go. So make sure that when you install it, click Install Anyways. Um, otherwise, it won't install it. If you're concerned about viruses, then uh, scan it, check it. I mean, maybe it does have one. I don't know. The Chinese um, have been more than well known to make back doors on routers and all sorts of things, so I wouldn't put it past them. This new radio that everybody's raving about, the... Um, let me go in here and find it. The, uh, uh, the TID radio. TID radio, the H8. They have already proven that this radio shares your contact list and everything when you hook it to your phone. So these guys are all goo goo ga ga about this stupid radio, whereas the first radio had all kinds of problems, so they're on version 2 with Bluetooth. And they want some, like, stupid money for these radios, like $89. And the radio needs permissions for your contact list, the microphone on your phone, the camera on your phone, and all this information just to program a radio through your phone. So you can't tell me that's not suspicious. So, But everybody's buying them and doing that, and they're okay with that. So I don't see why you shouldn't be okay with installing software that Windows doesn't like. So anyway, thanks for watching. Don't forget to share this video with anybody else that's struggling with one of these. These bowfangs are always kind of a, a fun thing for me because I, I try and figure out what's wrong with them. And the biggest thing is the cable not fitting in there.